All right, so we're gonna take a look here at this Acura NSX battery charger kit. So this kit right here, we're checking out is offered direct from the dealer. As you can see, this one here, list price is $312.46, marked down to $249.97. So about $250 for this OEM charger kit. So this kit is supposed to help keep the 12-volt uh, battery system charged while you're storing the vehicle. And it's supposed to integrate with into the vehicle on the passenger side of the footwell. And it does uh, require some installation uh, which we'll look at that shortly but this is the stock solution now i've seen instances where people are concerned about having to either open the window or close the door on the cord so from a design standpoint it uh, it's your choice as to which way you want to go what i had the opportunity to do is do a little bit of review and basically find the vendor of this charger um, which I'll show you right here before we get into what I did find out. So you can get this trickle charger from SeaTech. This is the MX S 5.0 uh, from this particular website, Juice My Ride. It is showing a picture here of the cigarette lighter charger. So I did happen to pick up this cigarette lighter charger for the sake of just testing it. I already had my suspicions, but the way that this would work, which would work well if the Acura actually had the feature, but the Acura NSX does not have the feature where you can use the cigarette lighter port while the vehicle's off. So if you have a vehicle, you wanna buy one of these SeaTech chargers and your vehicle has the cigarette lighter port where it will charge a cell phone while the car is off then this will work to charge that battery back up keep it at that 12 volt so i did purchase this and needless to say it does not work i tested it just to make sure uh, so this website as they say here guaranteed fitment yes everything will fit minus the fact that the nsx does not support this feature here uh, so they, they probably need to get their stuff updated. But I will show you what I got, which I will include the uh, links below. This is basically the SeaTech version directly from the manufacturer that will work for the NSX. So as you can see here, we've got two leads. Those two leads, the black, the red, those will attach to the battery. And um, that's how we will be able to charge up the battery so this will get installed uh, in the front of the vehicle by the battery and then you'll have the opportunity to just plug it up the wire can come out of the front section probably close to the beak is my guess and um, you'll be able to charge it so we'll take a look at the steps to actually get this installed but i'll include the link for this you can see here the difference 83 so 84 bucks versus the stock one of $250. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the installation instructions for the OEM battery charger. So you can see here, it comes with the charger, a harness, bag, bumper, wire tires, a plate, fuse, and a manual. So it looks like uh, there's probably some disassembly that's gonna have to take place here. So. Okay, so we see here uh, in this spot, 10 amp fuse. This is where the, looks like the connector will go. Okay, so we've got to remove the cover on the passenger side, remove the pillar, remove the clips, pull up the opening for the door seal, Pull off the right cowl and cut out a spot in that passenger cover and then put in the indicator harness. Okay, so that harness will plug right there into the plastic, it'll get secured, and then plug the 10 amp fuse into the sub fuse box. Remove the tape from the two pin connectors. Secure the two pin connector. 
plug in that two pin connector so the, the connector is already there ready to rock and roll. I mean at, at this price point I don't see why they didn't just include this with the vehicle but it is what it is. An accessory is an opportunity to make money for a manufacturer. Okay and then that cover goes back on. Then you've got a bumper for the charger. You can plug it in and so this is where right here some people aren't really happy with the design of this. You would either have to leave the door open, crack the window, close the door on the cord, and you're thinking about charging this thing for extended periods of time. So I guess maybe the uh, aftermarket version is maybe a better option. Uh, the connectors would just plug up to the battery. And for storage purposes, I think it'll work out a lot better. So let's go ahead and see what's involved for actually getting this hooked up on the NSX. All right, here we got two brand new products from Amazon. We've got here the SeaTech battery charger. This is the MXS 5.0. And I also have this uh, cigarette lighter charger. Now, this does not work on the NSX. The NSX does not allow you to charge through that port while the vehicle is off. So this, that's no good. But this right here, this is what we're going to use. And we're gonna hook this up to the NSX. Let's see what we got here in the packaging. So we have a little baggie. We have an owner's manual. And this is the good stuff here. So here, here is our battery charger. Um, here are the leads that will hook up to the battery. Let's see. We can take this apart here. Unclip, unclip. Okay, so here we go. So here is the product. Pop that out. <clears throat> Pop that out. So here it is. The SeaTech MXS 5.0. So this will plug into the wall. You've got your mode selector here. And then this nice little connector here will plug into this connector here. So you do have a nice little plug here to close this when you're not using it. So this will go onto the battery. This will plug in for when you do want to charge. And then there's also this additional hookup here if you prefer to charge your battery by just hooking directly onto the, uh, the leads of the battery. So we won't use this for this particular video. So we'll go ahead, we'll grab this, we'll grab this piece, and we'll go ahead and get started with the installation. All right, so this should be a fairly straightforward installation. We're gonna grab this battery cover, take that off. And I've got here two of my tools. We'll start with the negative side here. Get that loose. Okay. Best tool for the job is the one lying around, huh? All right, so we got the negative piece off. Let's go ahead. We'll pop this right here. This pops up, swings. We'll go ahead and get the other tool for this side. Get that wedged on there. We'll loosen this up. Much easier. Okay, so get this bolt off of here. 
Try not to drop it. Okay, so the bolt is off. So now what we can do is we can slide this bolt out. As you can see here, something's already connected to this bolt. So what we need, what we need now, as you can see here, what we will need. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our leads here. And we're gonna take the, the negative side. We're gonna go ahead and put the negative side here. Tighten that down. Okay, so the negative is on. We'll go ahead and swing this. Positive around. So on the positive side, I'm just going to put the bolt through that lead, put this back through the other lead and get this attached. So you can see here the level of difficulty for this installation. It's not very difficult at all. It should be fairly quick. A lot quicker compared to the stock version. Okay, so I tightened that up and I realized one thing here. I will not be able to get the cover back on this, so we're going to have to readjust how these are sitting. Because the cover, the battery cover is not going to go, it's not going to sit on top here. So let's see if we can get these uh, swinging down. There we, go. we got one down. This guy's really taking up space here. Pretty tight. Okay. Let's see if we can get him down first. Nope, I'm not gonna make a difference. So, what I'm gonna try to do then is I'm going to try and see if I reverse the order, either I'm going to reverse the order or just flip it to the other side. Seeing that something is already over on this side, the far side. I think what I may do is just take this connector, put this one back where it was, here. 
put that through there. And then maybe I can get this guy on the opposite side over here. Since I have more of a flexible wire on this side, I might be able to get it to work this way. Go ahead and try that. Try not to lose this bolt. have a winner here. Okay, everything is nice and snug. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna put this cover back on. Everything fits nicely there. And then what I'm gonna do is I think I would like to zip tie this guy up here. Okay, so now that we got that in place, go ahead and click that. And now we can give our tester a run. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna plug this up and we're gonna plug them in and see, see what we get here. So here is the charger. We're gonna go ahead we're going to plug this and pull off the plug there, connect it up. There we have our reading. Okay, this is where the manual comes in handy. So, after plugging in, what we see here, up to dot two, soft start. So this says it's gonna do 4.3 amps until it reaches 12.6 volts. 
Now we're sitting at number three. So at number three, it's increasing voltage to 4.4, 4.14 volts. And I think it's gonna go all the way through the cycles until we are at a full 12 volts. Okay, cool. So there you have it. There is the hookup of the SeaTech charger for the NSX. I'm gonna flip through the menu here really quick to see if there is anything else to mention. So here's what it says in the booklet here. Step one, step two, soft start, step three, bulk, step four, absorption, step five, analyze, step six, record, and step seven, float. So just plugging it up here, it's currently on step three, bulk, charging with maximum current until approximately 80% battery capacity. All right, so that is the hookup of this product. So granted all is well there. Everything's hooked up nicely. You take your cover, put your cover back in place. Everything's locked and loaded there. And then Let's take a look here at what this looks like. I believe we should be able to close the hood down on this. So let's see how this looks. So there we are at the hood. Let's see what this looks like here. We close this down nicely. All right, so yes, there's slack there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, what we have learned is that this product works a lot nicer than having to close the door on the charger. So there you have it. Everything is running nicely. Everything's charging. Looks good. So that was a fairly non-complicated installation. There it is right there, sitting at its zip tie. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave the links in the description for the charger and anything that's needed to get this done. Basically just the charger, because the uh, cigarette lighter piece is not valid for this vehicle. So there you have it, installation of the charger. Hope this video can help somebody out. And um, more videos to come featuring yours truly and the NSX in Novell Blue Pearl, the supercar that is actually a supercar. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Stay tuned for more.